am Dr. Swarjla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Sperm blockage, also known as obstructive azoospermia, occurs when there is an obstruction or blockage in the male reproductive tract. This prevents sperm from being ejaculated along with semen. This condition can result in infertility as sperms are unable to reach the semen and be ejaculated during sexual intercourse. Let's look at the causes, symptoms and treatment options for sperm blockage. We'll begin with the causes of sperm blockage. There could be congenital anomalies. Some men are born with congenital abnormalities in the male reproductive tract such as absent vas deferens, narrowing or blockage of vas deferens or abnormalities in ejaculatory ducts. Infections or inflammation also could be a reason. Infections of the male reproductive organs such as epididymitis or prostritis can lead to scarring or blockage of the ducts preventing the passage of sperm. Previous surgeries in the pelvic area such as hernia repairs, vasectomy reversal or surgeries to correct undescended testicles can also sometimes result in scarring or obstruction of the reproductive ducts. Trauma or injury to the male reproductive tract such as pelvic fracture or injuries during surgery can cause blockages or scarring that disrupt the flow of sperm. So what are the symptoms of this sperm blockage? The biggest symptom is the absence of sperm in ejaculate. One of the primary symptoms of sperm blockage is the absence of sperms and this is called as azoospermia. Normal ejaculation. Men with sperm blockage typically have normal ejaculation and sexual functions such as sperm production in the testis that is also not affected. However, semen may appear thin or watery due to the absence of sperm. So how do we diagnose sperm blockage? Semen analysis. A semen analysis is the first step in diagnosing sperm blockage. A complete absence of sperm in the ejaculate suggests that there is obstructive azoospermia. There are some imaging studies also such as ultrasound, magnetic resonance imaging called as MRI or transrectal ultrasound that may be also used to visualize the male reproductive tract and identify any blockages or abnormalities. Hormonal testing may also be performed to evaluate testosterone levels and rule out other causes of infertility. There are some treatment options that we should be discussing. There are surgical corrections that can be performed. Surgical repair is often the primary treatment for sperm blockage, especially in cases of congenital anomalies or scarring from previous surgeries or infections. Surgical techniques may include vasectomy reversal, epididymal or testicular sperm extraction, or procedures to repair obstructive ejaculatory ducts. Microsurgical techniques uh, also are uh, present such as microsurgical epididymal sperm extraction which is called as MISA or microtisa may also be used to retrieve sperms directly from the epididymis or testicles which can be then used for IVF rather ICSI intracytoplasmic sperm injection. In cases where infections or inflammations are contributing to sperm blockage, antibiotic therapy may also be prescribed to treat uh, any underlying infection or if there is an inflammation also to reduce the problem. ART, assisted reproductive techniques that is IVF with ICSI is also a procedure where surgical correction is not possible or successful then there is no viable sperm in the ejaculate. This ART which is IVF with ICSI may be used. Sperms retrieved through surgical procedures can be used for ICSI for fertilizing eggs in the laboratory. Counseling and support. Psychological counseling and support for couples dealing with infertility especially with complex medical treatments can because it can be very emotionally challenging for both partners. Counseling and support groups can provide definitely emotional support and coping strategies throughout the diagnosis and treatment process. Early diagnosis and appropriate treatment can often lead to successful outcomes and achievement of pregnancy. If you wish to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.